Good morning. The shortlist for this year's Women's Prize for Fiction is going to be announced in just a couple of minutes. I've uh, got the site up and there's the countdown timer. Oh, it says 60 seconds now. So I thought it'd be fun to do a live reaction to this. And I have all 16 of the novels here and just six are going to be on the shortlist. So yeah, I'm still reading Remote Sympathy because uh, it's quite a long novel. So yeah, I'm carrying on with that and uh, if you watched my video where Anna and I had a long discussion about the, the long list, uh, there were six novels we picked out which we think are going to be shortlisted, which are Build Your House Around My Body and The Island of Missing Tree, This One Sky Day, Sorrow and Bliss, Creatures of Passage, and Great Circle. So those are the six we've predicted, but it's I think it's really difficult. I've seen so many competing opinions about what's going to be on the shortlist. And now Dolly Parton may not have been listed this year for her debut novel, but I'm wearing a shirt today uh, still in her tribute <laughs> from a concert I went to see of hers in London in 2007, uh, which was so wonderful. So yeah, I'm here still rooting for Dolly and I've got my uh, big cup of tea uh, with my Golden Girls mug <laughs> to uh, watch the announcement. And yeah, it's really fun seeing everyone uh, rooting for who they want to be on the shortlist in the, the comments. So I'm just going to add uh, my own little thing about this one sky day because yeah I think that's the book that I'm really rooting for and getting behind and I'd love to see Leonie Ross on the shortlist so yeah that would be really exciting I think the only one I'd be really disappointed to see on the shortlist is The Exhibitionist which I just really didn't get along with uh, but yeah all, all of the the rest of the books I, I wouldn't be too angry to see them on the, the shortlist. I'd also love to see The Bread the Devil Need on the, the shortlist. And uh, yeah, I'd be happy if Louise Erdrich was on the shortlist. I, I, I didn't get on with uh, Ruth Ozeki's novel, Zoa. Oh, it's gonna start. Okay. Okay, we're on the countdown now. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, Jennifer loves books. She's commenting, uh, <laughs> and Doom Antidote, yay, and Lena Norms, yay, it's good to see so many people up and really excited to see the announcement. So, oh gosh, and yeah, of course, they still have a few others to read, so I know there's been a lot of support for Careless, um, so yeah, that would be really exciting to, to see on the shortlist, and I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to read that, you know, in any case, because so many people have said it's such a good book, and also the final revival of Opal and Nev uh, by Donnie Walton, um, there's been some good support for that as well, and I also happen to see that Donnie Walton happens to be in London at the moment, I don't know if that's telling that she might actually be on the short list. Here we go. This can be the announcement. My name's Mary Alison Cart and I'm this year's pair of judges for the Women's Prize for Fiction. And my fellow judges and I have been deciding on the short my microphone just came off. amazing books and we're going to talk you through them right now. Yay. The Great Circle by Maggie Shipstead is a book about every aspect of every woman's life. It's an incredibly feminist entertaining, uplifting, curious book that tackles everything. So good. Everything. I'd love to reread Great Circle. The Book of oh, Form so and Emptiness by Ruth Ezeki is an extraordinary achievement. It's funny, it's clever, it's original, it's philosophical, it's an incredibly enjoyable read. The Sentence by Louise Erdich is just the most wonderful book. It starts with a woman called Tuki who takes a couple of wrong turns in her life and ends up behind bars. There's so much I enjoyed about the sentence, but just as a whole novel, it I don't know if it all comes together. Mm. Yay, Island of Missing Trees. Island of Missing Trees by Ellen Shabbat is a beautifully written novel Oh, Anita, if you watched my video of uh, the Women's Prize party, announcement party last night, um, I had a discussion with Anita Sethi while I was at the party. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's so good. The bread the devil need. <laughs> Just bopping along to the music. It's such a compassionate look at long-term mental illness and the ramifications on a marriage and an entire family. 
so good, Sauron Puss. The Woman's Prize shortlist is an incredible collection of female writing. The genres are incredibly different and they cover every aspect of female life. And every story is there. So please go out, buy, borrow, listen to these books. Oh wait, oh so that's the shortlist. I didn't even realize that they, I thought they were going through the entire long list. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so, okay, that is the shortlist. Wow. So, uh, okay, let me just, <laughs> I completely misunderstood that. <laughs> so, um, let me just go through and tot up all of the books that are actually on it and then <laughs> have, a, have a discussion uh, about it. So, uh, wait, which ones were there? So <laughs> I've totally messed that up. Okay, great. So, um, so the Island of Missing Trees, Sorrow and Bliss. Oh, there's no one. This one, Sky Day. Uh, the Sentence, uh, Ruth Ozeki. <laughs> it's me trying to lift all of these different books. And the Bread the Devil Need. I'm so happy about that. That's really great to see. And, oh gosh, what? Oh no, there is Great Circle. <laughs> there's, there's Great Circle, yes, okay. <laughs> no, I've, I've, this is so chaotic. I obviously, I obviously need more tea to understand what is happening this morning. <laughs> I don't know why I, I, I didn't think that, <laughs> that they would actually be making the announcement. I just thought they were having a general discussion about the long list first. So, <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, very, very happy that Sorrow and Bliss, uh, Bread the Devil Need, Great Circle, uh, and uh, yeah, Island of Missing Trees um, is is on there. Um, like I said, yeah, there's a lot I admire about the sentence and uh, the book of form and emptiness, but yeah, just as, <clears throat> excuse me, complete reading experiences, maybe they just didn't totally come together for me. So I'm absolutely thrilled that Great Circle is is on there and I sort of wonder if maybe this is one of those books that it was you know it was shortlisted for the Booker Prize but didn't win so maybe the Women's Prize will claim it this year and maybe Maggie Shipstead will win this year's Women's Prize. Um, I think she has a really good shot so uh, so yeah that's my big prediction. I'm actually very happy that because uh, Anna hadn't read uh, The Bread the Devil Need and uh, so now she will be reading it and I'll be really interested to hear her thoughts on it because uh, yeah she has quite strong feelings about the subject matter that is represented so I, I think yeah that's going to be a big thing and uh, yeah oh I'm I, I also though Sorrow and Bliss is such an amazing novel I, I think um, probably yeah my my top predictions for, for winners is Great great Circle, Sorrow and Bliss, or The Island of Missing Trees. Um, though I always feel like with Alif Shafak, she, her, her novels are great and I love them and really adore them, but, but there's always just something little bit that stops them from tipping over into like absolute greatness and I, I don't know what that is, but yeah, I always just get that feeling about her novels that I, I love reading them, I think they're absolutely wonderful books, but whether I would like count them as absolute like timeless classics, I, I don't know. And uh, though, you know, I've only read uh, a few of her novels, so you know, maybe there are other ones that um, that would be in that category. But but yeah, I think it's a really good shortlist over overall. And, you know, I'd really like the, the chance to, um, if I have time, to reread Great Circle, because I think there's so much more in it that I probably didn't see. And, you know, if, if I was a judge, probably I would be rereading the sentence and the book of Form of Emptiness, but I'm not. So I think I'm probably just going to move on from there because the, I, I might get something more out of them if, if I reread them. Uh, maybe it was just my experience at the time that um, prevented me from, from totally falling in love with them. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, so, so yeah, here is the shortlist. But I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about this shortlist? Are you disappointed that uh, on some of the books like Careless um, didn't make the, the shortlist? I am quite disappointed that Build Your House Around My Body and This One Sky Day weren't on, on the shortlist because I think those are such imaginative, wild, beautiful novels. Uh, 
uh, so would still really root for those. But but overall, yeah, really great shortlist of uh, of books. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna look forward to discussing more of them with you and with Anna as she continues to to to, to read the final book on the shortlist because she's read all of the other ones. But uh, yeah, thank you for joining me this morning. I hope you have a good day and you're reading good things. And I'll speak to you again soon. Bye bye.